There's a sigh of relief on the streets of western Mosul. Now the fighting appears less intense, people can go out, and some can leave the city in relative safety. Iraqi forces have cleared some roads to create safe corridors for civilians. The fighting is concentrated around a football stadium on the southern edge of the old city. Mir al-Nuri Mosque is from here that Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi announced his caliphate in July 2014. The black flag is still flying on its leaning minaret. ISIL fighters are all around it, nobody knows how many. It's the rapid response unit that is leading the charge here. They are cautiously pushing forward. The battle over the old city is expected to be the fiercest yet, and the high death toll among civilians has prompted the military to change tactics. We are to rethink plans. The old city at the moment is surrounded from the south and the west. The old city is very important. It's a crucial area, but it is densely populated and there are many families living there. We slowed down the operations because we don't want to use heavy weapons. We are using now light weapons and hand grenades. Iraqi forces have taken up defensive positions in case of counterattacks. But like everywhere where Iraqi forces and ISIL come face to face, the area is reduced to rubble. People have seen years of hard work destroyed. They burnt this house just to make smoke screens. Everything we had is gone. They destroyed our lives. This is a war led from the ground and the sky. People say that ISIL used many as human shields in a bid to create mass casualties and perhaps turn public opinion against the advancing forces. But the end result is the total destruction of a city that has been standing proud for hundreds of years. Abdel Hamid Al Jazeera in Northern Iraq.